must save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Breath of the Wild for you guys today as always. Hope you're all having a fantastic day wherever you guys might be. This is basically uh, evening in Hyrule. It's about to be a sunset. So we just ended the last episode exploring that pretty cool base right over there in that rock formation. And uh, the, this hill used to be covered in grass, but I chopped it all down looking for fairies before I started recording. I only found one, though. Found a bunch of lizards and crickets. Also, when I was cutting grass, I noticed that there's another Hynox, or Hynix, whatever, however you call them, just chilling in the middle of this uh, hill. And not only is there a Hynox, there's a guardian, a walker guardian. Very close to it. So if I engage the Hinox, there's a very good chance that the Guardian's going to start shooting at me as well. <laughs> Which might be an interesting fight. Uh, but yeah, after we mess around with the Guardian and the Hinox, if, if we decide to do that, I'm probably going to head over to that shrine right there. And then maybe to the uh, tower beyond. Although the, the stables way over there is also a tower I want to get to as well. So we got a bunch of markers over here that I want to check out. I know there's a bunch of shrines over there. And then also this stamp I placed is I think the location of the ancient horse uh, bridle or saddle. Whichever one I don't have. I have the saddle so the bridle I think is over there. Uh, so we have a lot to explore. I doubt we're going to be able to do it all in this episode. But yeah, let's get started by messing around with this Hinox, shall we? One thing I do know is we can check. So this is a black Hinox, which I think is one of the stronger ones. Um, I should be fine to fight it. My only concern is the Guardian is right next to it. I'm going to try to lure the Hinox away from the Guardian if possible. Wake him up. Okay, Guardian sees the Wolf Link. Oh my gosh. All right, so this is uh, this is quickly getting out of hand. <laughs> I'm going to try to take on the Guardian. All right, I'm chopping his leg. The guard, the Hedox pushed him. Oh my goodness. Where'd the guardian go? He's just rolling around. And a swarm of bats. Why not? Everybody get in here. Oh my gosh, the Hinox is pushing. He pushing the gu the guardian around. Not really doing a lot of damage here. Hey, 
And skeletons. Why not? Okay. 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 Alright, the Guardian's dead. The Guardian is down. Now we can just deal with the Hinox. He was about to walk away from me. Did you guys see that? Gotta stop him from regenerating health. Oh boy. Wolf Lake is down, guys. Wolf Lake is down. And I can't hit his eye. There we go. Uh, this is a very interesting way to start the episode. There we go. No, not fire. No, no. Fighting him in the rain, no less. Should do it. Oh no. Easy. <laughs> so easy. I'm killing Hadox every day. Oh wait. I actually like them both. I guess I'm gonna keep the old one. Oh my goodness, what a fight. Holy cow. Look at all this food. Oh, he knocks tooth. Oh man. Wow. I feel bad that Wolf Lake died, but that was an epic battle, man. We fought a guardian, a walker guardian, a he black Hinox, a swarm of bats, and the skeleton boys. All at the same time. Was the Hinox guarding anything? Like, he was sleeping over here, I saw. Is there actually anything he was guarding? Alright, I guess not. And of course it's raining. Of course. Alright, let's go get that shrine that was over here. Since it's so close. Woo! Wow, what a fight. After that, I feel like I can do anything, you know? Oh, one thing I wanted to try out, guys, is turning the HUD mode to Pro. This will basically take off of the screen all the stuff in the bottom right corner so that it's just a little bit cleaner. I actually don't even really need the shrine sensor, but whatever. Alright, I'm going to have to leave you, Cookie. You can't get across the river on your own. Sorry. Just take a drink or, or take a bath or something while you wait. I'll be right back. A shrine and a stables, guys. And I wonder if this stable is one that I can upgrade my horse at. We'll see. The Kawa Wan Shrine. Let's check it out. Uh, what about what about uh, viewers commented? I think it was Fuzzy D. He commented the the Shrine Guardians have they went from 150 health in casual mode to 1,500 health in master mode. Over 10 times, well, basically 10 times the health. So that's why the Shrine Guardians were so dang hard. You remember back in like episode seven where I died so many times to the Shrine Guardians? They have so much health. 
Shields from water. All right, I don't remember this shrine at all. So this is going to be a learning process for both of us. Oh boy. There's, there's the shrine guardian right there. That's the ones that I'm talking about. He's gonna start shooting me. There's two more over there. All right. Can I shoot him into the water? Yep. <laughs> and he dies too. Oh, that's great. I actually do want that chest though. That was actually easier than I thought it would be. Nice, an ancient core. Now I can uh, upgrade my stasis. I think I have enough cores. I think... Let's see. Yes, I have three cores now. That's exactly what I need to, to upgrade my stasis. So we're going to have to go back to Hateno Tech Lab at some point to do that. Alright, now there's two of them. These ones seem to be a bit weaker. Alright, another chest. Weapon? Yes! That's actually a nice weapon. Oh, I got a couple of them too. I got a few of these. Alright. We're gonna get rid of this Bokoblin arm first because it's the weak, weak link. Alright, we're gonna do something crazy, guys. You ready? Here we go. Epic. Easiest shrine of my life. <sighs> Took a sip of my tea. So now, guys, I have the shrine to this stables. That actually helps a lot. Six orbs, full health. Oh, he's got a pretty cool uh, pose. He's, he's, I like how he's levitating both of those rings. That's nice. Six shrines, six spirit orbs, 14 shrines, 17 Korok seeds. That's everything that we've collected so far. Making progress, slowly but surely. Do you guys remember how tough it was when we first emerged from that Shrine of Resurrection? We've come so far, and I have yet to even really progress the story after we went to Kakariko Village. Oh, uh, it's not raining! Excellent. Alright, so the wetland stables. Very nice, very nice. Wait a minute. It's Cass! It's Cass, guys! We found Cass! And a doggy with beautiful green eyes. Wow, look at the... Oh, maybe they're yellow, never mind. Uh, <laughs> uh, just started raining. I was gonna do some cooking. That's why Cass went inside. No wonder. Let's read the diary. This will sometimes give us a quest. See that? That's actually a recipe for an elixir. Monster part and a dragonfly. 
I love Cass. Oh my gosh. And Beetle. Alright, Beetle's sleeping. Wow. Never mind, he's not sleeping. I wanna see if I can buy some arrows. I used a lot of arrows trying to kill all the Henoxes, man. I killed four Henox in the last like one hour of playtime. <laughs> And a walker guardian. Alright, thank you, dude. Maybe, actually, I will sell. Let's see. Do I have any uh, excess of things I want to sell? Not exactly. I kind of want to make my way to the Goron area. That way I can sell... I guess I have a lot of these. I'll sell, like, 20 of these. 25, 30. Alright, that sounds good. Put us, up, put, put us up near a thousand rupees. That makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. Let's talk to Cass! Yeah. Greetings, traveler. How about a song? Th that there, on your hip. No, I'm sorry. It's nothing. I didn't mean to pry. My name is Cass. I'm a bard traveling this land in search of ancient songs. Cass is literally just a traveling bard. How cool is that? Oh. Songs that sing the praises of a hero who beat back the calamity in an age past. One of the more famous among them recounts the events of 10,000 years ago. I happen to know a song about the ancient hero. It was passed down to me by my teacher. Do you care to hear it? Oh. Alright, let's hear it. Excellent. Without further ado. Just gonna listen to this awesome music. You guys can read that if you want. Basically the same story that we already know. Wait, is that it? I wish they actually sang the song. Yeah, I'm actually just going to skip it because it's literally the same story and it's not actually even the song. So, yeah, Cass, you're kind of a fraud. I, want, I wanted to hear the full accordion song, my man. Yes, yes, that music. Beautiful. Alright, let's keep it moving, guys. We got a lot of stuff to do. Um, Alright, we did this shrine. Where's my horse? I think I gotta take my horse. Ooh. Uh, let's take uh, Cookie. Mm -hmm. Yep. Notice my bond with Cookie is now max level. Mm. Hi. Also, there's a doggy here, so let's go ahead and see if I can feed him. Oh, oh, Cookie wants some of those apples, too. <laughs> Cookie's like, hey, hey, I thought those were for me. Actually, that woodcutter's axe can be useful. Come on, guys, eat up, eat up. Plenty for everyone, plenty for everyone. Although, I kind of want the dog to get more because he's got to take me to treasure. The dogs like tried to get the apple and Cookie legit ate them all. I don't think Cookie will go for the meat though, so. Cookie! You a greedy one, aren't you? You wanted all those apples to yourself, didn't you, boy? Alright, doggy looks happy. Doggy looks very happy. Stay close, Cookie. 
Stay close. Show me the treasure, doggy. Show me the treasure. Sh wait. Show me the treasure. What? You want more food now? Where is he going? You need more? I think he he lost his way. He needs a little bit more to get get motivated again. All right, now you know where the treasure is. Man, you are really hungry. <laughs> no joke, guys. It actually started raining in real life where I live. It's literally raining outside. Okay, he, he, he remembers, guys. He remembers the treasure. Beehive doggy. Where's the treasure? Ooh, good boy. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, an opal. I forget how much they sell for, but probably worth. Let's replenish some apples while we're here. All right, now that we got the treasure, guys, let's see. Do I go for this, or do I continue traveling up north? If I travel up north, eventually I'm going to reach the uh, stables where I can... Wait. Oh my gosh! Look at these guys. They're so cute. I hope my recording doesn't stop because it's like thundering and lightning outside where I live right here. I bet you that's a Korok seed, so let's let's get him. Yep. Oh, he looks cool. I wish they all had unique names. I, I would like that. All right, yeah, I'm gonna keep heading north. I'll come back for this tower another time. Right, Cookie? We gotta stay focused. Oops, oops, didn't, didn't mean to stop. All right, let's keep going. On the road again. There's some bogoblins over there again. Not sure what they're doing, but I think they're fighting, but we can't keep getting sidetracked, guys. I have to keep pressing forward. There's another shrine over there. I kind of want to go get it. You guys think we should just go for that shrine? You guys really want to mess with me? I don't think you do. Oh no, that shrine is way out of the way, guys. We're going the wrong way. We need to go this way. I ain't even worried about those guys, you know what I mean? They're not gonna catch up to Cookie. Cookie too fast. Cookie's way too fast. What do we have here? If there's an enemy 
There might be something worth guarding. Aha! Nice! Another Korok. Ha, <laughs> he got a spear stock. Is that all that was here is the Korok seed? Let's just check real quick. Sometimes there's like EX chests hidden in these ruins, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Alright, Cookie. Let's keep going. North! I think we can get across this. Check about, guys. Gotta check about. Ooh, look, there's rock formations. This one is different. Got it. Ooh, there's a shrine off in the distance, and again, it's raining. So annoying, it's raining so much. Oh boy. Wait. Wait, why am I getting a Oh, my bow. There we go. Now we're good. That shrine is the wrong way. We need to keep going north. We are very close, guys. Ooh, very close. Unfortunately, because it's raining, I can't climb up this little hill and then fly to the shrine. Looks like I have no choice. That's basically how you have to do it. And of course it's raining. Wait, cutscene? Leto? I can't even see. The horse is in the way. Over here! I'm over here! Just chilling in the storm! Fancy meeting another person out here in the lightning storm. I apologize for calling on you so suddenly. I am Leto, a proud member of the distinguished Zora. As you are a real highly, and I had no choice but to call upon you. Will you please spare me a moment of your time? You sound like a telemarketer, but you know, you're like the first Zora that I've ever met, so what's up? Ooh. Do you see that tower, the one atop the mountain yonder? I need you to go upstream of Zora River, which runs along the north side of that tower, to Inogo Bridge. Mm. I can see it in your eyes. You're asking yourself, why me? A reasonable question for a stranger accosted by a passing Zora in such a manner. Oh. But I must assure you, this venture will be very profitable for you as well. You see, Prince Sidon of the Zora is in desperate search of a strong Hylian. And as this is a royal request from the prince himself, it's safe to assume a generous reward is in the cards. Yeah, for you too. For finding the Hylian, you know, finder's fee. Actually, guys, this guy is sending us on a quest which will ultimately free the Zora and the Divine Beast. <laughs> so this guy is actually famous for finding me. You know what I mean? 
That is why I'm asking you to meet with Prince Sidon at Inogo Bridge along the Zora River, just upstream of here. Alright, bud. I'll think about it. Only thing I don't like about the uh, pro mode is I don't know what time it is or when it's going to stop raining. Because this is brutal. I can't, I can't get to that shrine while the rain is going. Unless there's another way for me... I think for now we're just gonna have to go around it. And keep looking for the stables. If I remember right, I even had to go all the way up that mountain and then fly down to the shrine. And you need a lot of stamina to do that. Alright, what do we have here, boys? What do we have here? Actually, bomb arrows don't work in the rain. I forgot about that. But you, do you know what does work? Is bombs. Just good old-fashioned bombs. Unfortunately, almost all of my weapons will get me killed. Which means I don't really want to use them. Oh! Okay, well that works too. <laughs> you guys weren't guarding a chest by chance, were you? I think the metal crate is attracting lightning. Come here, you big dummy. Oh man, we already went over time. I was really trying to get to the, uh, the shrine. Did the lightning storm stop? Alright, I think the lightning storm finally stopped. My goodness. That was incredible. Let's just take a peek up here. And see if we can see the stables that we've been trying to get for three episodes or more. Let's see. I think we're very close. It should be within sight. Do you guys see a stables? Well, I, I for sure see the, the tower up there, which I do want. I believe the stables should be right up there, guys. So at the start of next episode, for sure, we're going to get there, boys. I can't wait. Oh my gosh. Once we get those stables, then, uh, yeah, like I said, we, ha we have all these points to check out. There was another uh, shrine right here we want to we wanna check out for sure. And so much stuff. And then once I, once I actually find a stable that I can upgrade, we need to swing back this way to pick up the ancient bridle as well. Oh, man. Plus, now we can go talk to Prince Sidon if we want to start the Varuta. Uh, Divine Beast quest line, or we can try to do uh, any of the other Divine Beasts. 
Um, I kind of want to wait to do the Divine Beast until I have the Master Sword, though. What do you guys think? Should I go for one of these four Divine Beasts? The uh, Desert one, the Rito people one, the Goron people one, or the Zora people? I could do any, any of them in any order. So, typically, though, you do the Zora, then the Desert, then the Rito, then the Goron, but, but you don't have to do it that way. Anyways, guys... This lightning rod's making more sound. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, please drop a like. It really helps me out. This is Lucian Sword. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope to see you in the next one. Take it easy.